Remember the buzz around the PlayStation 5 Pro's incredible upscaling? Well, what if I told you Sony and AMD are already ditching that tech for something even better, and it's coming next year? When Sony launched the PlayStation 5 Pro, a big part of its promise revolved around pushing stunning visuals, often thanks to its proprietary upscaling technology, PSSR, or PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. This tech aimed to render games at lower resolutions and then intelligently upscale them to sharp, high-fidelity 4K, sometimes even at 60 frames per second. It was quite an engineering feat, a custom solution designed specifically for the Pro's unique hardware. But in the fast-paced world of silicon and pixels, even cutting-edge technology can get surpassed remarkably quickly. And that's exactly what happened here. AMD and Sony, through key figures like Jack Quinn from Radeon and Mark Cerny, the PlayStation's lead system architect, recently revealed in an interview that the PS5 Pro will ditch PSSR in favor of AMD's latest upscaling breakthrough, FSR 4. You might know FSR 4 from the PC world, where it debuted exclusively on AMD's most recent RX 9000 series graphics cards. The big news? The version coming to your PS5 Pro next year will be the exact same, full-fat, iteration. No compromises, no watered-down console port. This isn't just an iterative update, it's a direct replacement. Now, this might sound a bit odd. Why replace something so new? It turns out, both PSSR and FSR 4 actually share a common lineage. They both sprung from a collaborative effort between AMD and Sony, a project codenamed Amethyst. PSSR was essentially an earlier, functional version of this co-developed upscaling algorithm, while FSR 4 represents its more advanced, refined state. Mark Cerny himself admitted a degree of surprise. He fully expected PSSR to be the leading solution for the PS5 Pro for years, potentially outlasting the console's entire life cycle. But FSR 4 achieved significantly higher image quality in just a matter of months. Think about that. A console launches with cutting-edge tech, only for a superior version of that same tech, from the same team, to emerge almost immediately. It's like buying the latest smartphone, only to hear its camera is getting an entirely new, better sensor next quarter. This rapid improvement means your PS5 Pro, which already features a custom art DNA APU designed with these kinds of capabilities in mind, will simply switch over to the newer, better FSR 4 next year. The hardware is ready, it just needs the software update. But here's where the picture gets a little less clear for some players. While the PlayStation 5 Pro is getting this significant visual boost, the original PlayStation 5 will not. Neither PSSR nor FSR 4 are coming to the base PS5. Why? It comes down to architecture. The standard PS5 uses AMD's RDNA 2 architecture, which lacks the dedicated AI processing units crucial for these advanced upscaling techniques. The PS5 Pro, on the other hand, steps up to RDNA 3, offering the necessary ray tracing capabilities and, more importantly, those specialized AI units that AMD's RDNA 4 PC cards also utilize. Think of it this way. Some advanced features need specific hardware, you can't just download them onto older machines. So, for PS5 Pro owners, the future looks even sharper and more detailed. For those with the original PS5, it's a reminder that the world of console gaming, much like PC gaming, is constantly evolving, and sometimes, those evolutions leave older hardware behind. What does this mean for the lifespan of current-gen consoles? And how do you feel about these kinds of upgrades appearing so quickly after a console's release? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all the latest in tech and gaming.